Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and probably much to the chagrin of the guy who edits our videos, I am doing an unboxing and quick review configuration of the Chauvet DMX AN2. Okay, why is that? Well, a lot of you guys watch this channel, um, a lot of you guys come to us for gear advice and to get your gear from the best place to get gear in the US, that is LearnStageLightingGear.com, we would love to help you. People need DMX nodes from time to time, ways to convert a networked DMX signal uh, from Artnet or SACN to DMX, okay? And I'm unboxing it as we speak, okay? So we unbox it, we get a quick start guide, okay? Anywho, so you need to convert Artnet uh, or SAC into DMX. There are lots of boxes on the market that do it, and the DMX AN2 is one of our favorites, and I, I don't think I've done a review of it yet, so I wanted to do it today and then just walk through uh, the configuration of it in a web browser real quick so you can see it. Okay, so all that to say, um, what we're going to do first is unbox it. Um, the DMX AN2 comes in a simple box. Um, and what we like about it is it's about the cheapest uh, DMX node that's built with decent quality that we like, that, that works well, um, is reasonably easy to configure, and has served people and customers of ours over the long run. Um, for example, there's one that's been sitting at my church since 2020. Um, it runs every week. It runs the lights. It's great. Okay. Now, um, if you need to manage a lot of nodes on a network, multiple nodes, um, if you need to change the settings a lot, um, et cetera, then there are other nodes we typically recommend. But if you want something simple and you want just the least expensive thing, then you want to reach inside this box, get out your quick start guide, get out your power supply, um, which I'm not even going to use and get out your DMX AN2. So let's talk about the physical real quick. It's a silver box. Chave makes it. It has DMX three pin plugs on it. So if your lights are three pin, that helps. If they're five pin, it doesn't. It's got some blinky lights on it for universe A and B. And it's got an ethernet jack and a power jack on the other side. Um, it is PoE compatible. So for example, I'm gonna plug it in here. Two PoE power, I think. Yep. <laughs> and it powers up and it's rocking and rolling without a power supply. If you don't have PoE, use the power supply. Nice and simple. Okay. Um, now, configuration. Okay. This guy's pretty easy to configure. So what you want to do is connect your computer directly to the device. That's the best way to do it. Make sure you're not on a network with routers or anything else. In fact, even turn off your wireless and everything. Just be on your wired network just direct, um, just to make sure that your computer uh, connects to it the proper way. Uh, if you understand networking and you've done networking before, feel free to ignore these these directions. This is mainly for folks who might be scared about uh, things like changing your IP address, which is what we're about to do. So you go to your settings here and, and you wanna go to uh, your IP assignment here. It's gonna look different depending on what version of Windows or Mac you have, but we wanna set it to manual or static IP address. IPv4, V4, set it to 2.0.0.2 as an example. Um, out of the box, and then 255, I'm sorry, we'll get there. Out of the box, the DMX AN2s are set to 2.0.0.1 as the IP address of the unit. So that means if you have a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, which is very standard, um, then you have to make the first three numbers match, so 2.0.0, and then the last number different and be a number between um, one and, or well, two actually, because one's already taken and 240 something. Ask your IT professional. Okay, the gateway DNS, that's only for internet. We're not connecting to the internet here. So you can just ignore all that stuff if Windows lets you. And now you're set. Now you can go to a web browser, type 2.0.0.1, enter. And now you're you're given a, a sign-in page. So they do password protect these. Um, the default name is uh, admin admin, which is pretty typical. And now you're in. Okay, you can set those. Uh, you can set those passwords. You can change that here if you want. But this settings page is as bare bones and simple as you get. Okay, 
You can set it to manual IP or DHCP. That's going to depend on your setup. Most often we recommend manual. You can change the IP address. So that way, if you're putting it on an existing network, you can change it, put it in the uh, same IP address range as that network. If you don't know what that is and you're not getting complicated with it, I would say choose DHCP, let the router that's in your network, give it an IP address and you'll be good to go. Okay. Um, the only caveat is if your lighting software, depending on what you're using, and we have people use these with Onyx, with LightKey, with Entex Emu, even the old D-Pro, um, lots of software can use this. Okay. Um, if, if you have to enter an IP address for the item, then you need to set it static. If not, it can go on DHCP. Um, next, the subnet mask. Um, you could just leave it at the default. Again, if your network is getting more complicated, talk to your networking person. They'll tell you what to enter. Um, the gateway, um, that's going to be the IP address of your router. Um, I don't think it really matters that much, though, because we don't connect to these DMXANs through a name. Uh, we only do it through the IP address. So I'm not sure the gateway really matters that much. Um, um, and then it shows you the firmware. And then boom, here's our DMX ports. DMX ports can be set to input or output. They can be set to Artnet or SACN. Now I prefer SACN for pretty much everything. Okay. And then you can set a frame rate. Leave it where it is unless you're having problems with some weird old or cheap fixture flickering. Okay. Then you set the universe. Artnet universes start at zero. SACN universes start at one. And so do be aware of that. Um, when you do change your settings. Say I set this to 2.0.0.3 and I press apply. Okay. When you go change your settings, it actually forwards you to the new IP address. If you change that IP address, I like that, you know, just saves a step, makes it just a little bit more user friendly. Does it really matter? Well, no, probably not, but it just makes it easier people. Um, so the Chauvet DMX a and two, um, it's a good buy. It's one that we sell and we stock at Learn Stage Lighting Gear because we believe in it. Um, sure, if you're changing settings a lot, if you're managing a lot of these, um, there are better options for your needs. But if you need a DMX node to get DMX out of whatever program you're using, you want two ports, maybe you don't want two ports, who cares? And you want to save your money? The DMX AN2 is a killer buy. We love these things because they're reliable, they work well, they do what they're supposed to. They're simple. They don't have more advanced features like merging. They don't have a screen to be able to adjust your settings on. But you know, when you want something simple and easy, it's a great buy. So check it out. We'll have links below at LearnStageLightingGear.com. And if you need anything gear-wise, whether it's uh, a DMX AN2 or something completely different, reach out to us. Head over to LearnStageLightingGear.com. You can check out a lot of the things we can get on the store, though we can get even more brands than that and, and items. Or reach out to us via our contact form or our quote request, which you get by adding stuff to your cart and then hitting add to my quote list. Um, you can do any of that. We'll help you quote out your project, quote out whatever you need, help you get that personalized pricing so that you can get the gear you need from a vendor you trust. That's us, Learn Stage Lighting Gear, here to teach you, here to serve you, here to help you get what you need. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.